we took it first out on the road, um, what, about a year ago. And it's just been ideal, you know, because it, it, it looks like an upright piano, it, it sounds like an upright piano, but you don't have to tune it every night. People have tried to make me use other things, you know, when we, like when we did a festival the other day in like, Latvia, you know, occasionally you have to use something else and it's just not the same. But you know, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a great piano, and I, I can't really ever see myself ever using anything else. It's, it's, um, it's ideal, and we've used it ever since we were in the back of a, you know, a tiny van supporting Jake Bug, you know, in the cold winter months of last year, to you know, playing slightly bigger sized venues this year. It's, it's been, it's just been great. I think the problem with live is when you're playing with a band to get a piano sound that's still got the softness but the brightness to, to you know the softness for the quiet bits and the sensitivity but also the brightness to, to get past the guitar. Right now, particularly the, 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 the tour we're about to start, I spend a lot of time sound checking with the band and we do a lot of writing in that. So a lot of the writing is going to be done on the FPAT and also the Alexa tour. We've only ever broken one. I pushed it over. <laughs> you don't know how happy you guys were about that, but I'm very, very honoured to work with them. It's a great company.